everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and this is another episode from our tax series. We've got another box in today, and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized box. Uh, really hoping that uh, they got their act back together from their last box and uh, sent us something at least somewhat reasonable. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we've got a couple of pieces here, and they gave me the card this time. And uh, on the card, it shows exactly what this is. There are the two products, the one being just their sticker right here, which does say assembled at Gitmo by detainees against their will. And then it has a handful of uh, fellas with beards. For some reason, I don't know where they got this number, but on the card here, they say that this is a $4 manufacturer suggested retail sticker. Uh, uh, yeah, no. I don't I don't know I don't know somebody's smoking something uh, then we've got this other product here now on the card here it says Camelback Rogue Hydration Pack with Crux Reservoir now they do say that this is a $69.99 manufacturer's suggested retail price uh, of course uh, if you don't understand what a uh, hydration pack is they also call them camel packs or camel bags uh, it's basically just a a backpack that carries a bladder uh, that has a uh, an ample supply of water in it it does say that the uh, reservoir will hold uh, uh, 85 ounces now uh, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, take a better look at it all right so here we go here's the uh, Here's the unit itself, and as you can see, it's it's roughly a little shorter than my arm. Uh, I, this looks to be about, uh, I would say, from here to here, uh, this being the next section right here, I would say that's roughly about 18 inches, give or take. Uh, not uh, Obviously, I'm not going to be absolutely accurate on that, but uh, it does have uh, some of these pockets here they're ta talking about. So I've got one up here that... It's a pretty decent size. I mean, you can see I can get my whole hand in there. I uh, definitely could throw uh, a cell phone and keys and, and uh, you know, a wallet and some things like that in there. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, I can definitely carry a good bit of stuff in there. And then you've got this lower piece down here. Let's see. Uh, it has kind of a, a section here where it has the uh, nylon webbing on the back. And uh, you can carry something uh, in this area, maybe something that would be a little longer and would stick out. It has these adjustable sections here, the little adjustable straps. And uh, let's see if we can loosen it up a little bit. We'll try and take it all the way out. So there you go. Now this is uh, elastic at the top of the nylon there. So you can, you can open that out quite a bit. And then uh, if it's something uh, that you need to keep tight, if it's longer or something like that, you could easily pull the straps down and uh, tighten it up that way. Then we've got this other pouch right here. And uh, that's a pretty decent sized pouch, about the size of my hand roughly. Um, good for a handful of things. And then it does have like a couple little nylon kind of pockets on the inside as well as a little clip here for you know keys or or what have you so uh, not bad not bad I I will say that this is a pretty pretty reasonable in the in the design and everything and then they do have the little uh, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it but the little advertising kind of tag right here but because that's there uh, this could be something that uh, if you have something that hooks on or something like that you could set that in there so there's another spot to kind of hook and uh, attach things there of course is our hose and our mouthpiece for the there you go camel back uh, as I mentioned before like a camel pack camel back is the actual name of it and uh, that being part of the of the bladder the reservoir uh, type thing and uh, let's see See if we can uh, kind of dig this out a little bit. Uh, now, right here, it does say this is a uh, the the reservoir itself is Crux C R U X, and uh, it says right here it says 20% more water per sip. So it looks like uh, it doesn't have uh, quite as much restriction on uh, on taking and uh, drinking the water 
as some might have. It also says that it has a lifetime guarantee on that uh, on that bladder there. So uh, that's something that uh, you want to keep in consideration. You know, I know bladders can go bad and everything like that, and they are guaranteeing that it is going to stay good. Now, take in right here is the little lever. So we flip this up. And you've got the pieces here to fill up the water bag, the bladder right there. So there it is right like that. So just take and put that in a faucet or whatever you're going to do. And, uh, you know, that will, of course, keep it locked down right there. And then you just take this piece here and put it over. It's kind of like a shoehorn is what it looks like uh, to me, like a plastic shoehorn. But, uh, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, it just as long as it works. Now, this does have a little loop up here. I'm guessing, you know, when you're not using it, you could take and hang this up in your closet, throw it on a, uh, a coat hanger or uh, hang it on a hook on your door or something like that. Uh, on the other side here, you have uh, the shoulder harnesses. They do have the, of course, extendable straps right here. You have the, the chest link here to uh, keep it closed and keep it from wanting to pull off to the sides. Of course, that can be really uncomfortable. And it's wrapped around here, so you do have some length there that you can get it nice and wide. Uh, and then it does have the little clip right here. Uh, and of course, this clip right here would be uh, what you would take and hook your hose into. If I can get it in there, there we go. So that's a way to kind of keep that there. I almost wonder if maybe we could put it on the other side. Uh, doesn't doesn't quite look like it. Um, yeah, it looks like it looks like it's solid all the way down. So uh, the way this is put on here, it looks like it's kind of permanent on this side. Uh, with the water hose coming up from that side, it would be advantageous to have it over here so it doesn't kind of push up against your neck. But that's just an observation that I notice. Uh, let's see, anything else to it? I mean, you've got these two little loops right here that you could, uh, of course, hang things from, I guess, uh, as well. And then, of course, the straps are right here as well. And these really don't do anything when it comes to actually uh, cinching down the harness uh, or the shoulder straps. Uh, to you so they could be something to kind of hang things off of or whatever or just uh, while you're walking something to loop your thumbs into uh, You know depending on when you're trekking or what you're trekking around now. This does have some padding here uh, Some cushion and everything right there. There is well, there's almost none when it comes to uh, When you come off of the main part here once it hits this uh, this section right here, the padding is is cut down to basically nothing, though. So uh, you know, with the little with the weight of the water on there, that may prove a little bit of an annoyance uh, cutting into the shoulders or anything like that. So something you want to consider with that. Uh, but uh, honestly, for the most part, it seems to be pretty nice. Uh, now, see here on the on the. Uh, it's called a bite valve. Uh, this it does have a lever that locks it on and off as well. And, and of course, if you haven't used one of these before, they call it a uh, a bite valve because you actually uh, squeeze it with your teeth when you go to drink from it, and that kind of opens up uh, the end of the straw so that you can uh, draw the water up through. I will say this: huge step up from our last box. That last box really unhappy with. This one, at least it's it's much closer. Now, like I said, they say the manufacturer suggested retail price is right there about 70 bucks, and then their POS sticker is uh, supposed to be $4. But uh, the Camelback here and uh, along with the bladder, definitely good. Um, I mean, generally, I wouldn't spend $70 on something like this. I, I would probably go and I would say 40 to $50, though. So puts this close to the price of the box. Uh, you know, it's it is like I said, good quality. The fact that the bladder does have a uh, a warranty like that, a lifetime warranty, that's definitely a good thing uh, compared to you know some of the others. Uh, they they just 
you know, fall apart after, you know, a handful of uses, you know, have them maybe a year or so and, and, and you're done. Uh, and uh, this one's guaranteed. So that's definitely a good thing, something that uh, I do appreciate. Um, and, and you guys just need to decide for yourself, you know, is it worth it to you? So, you know, make your own decisions and, uh, you know, decide for yourself is something like this going to be uh, good enough for what you would want it or need it for? Is it going to be good enough to add on to your tactical gear, onto your uh, go gear or uh, travel packs or camping gear, whatever you use this stuff for? Uh, for me, it, it it's worth adding on, definitely. Um, and, uh, you know, I will definitely put it to good use. I... Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. My name is Cougar. This is another episode of the TAC series from World of Me. If you want to check Crate Club out, there is a link to them down in the description below, as well as our social media content. And while you're on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be that one down there below the video, or there'll be the other one over here, uh, just kind of floating around the corner. Make sure when you do hit those, you hit that little bell icon that's down there and set it up so that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me with the Tax Series or any of our other series. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.